good morning from the Peak District. So we have just arrived in Buxton. Actually, I lie, we arrived last night, um, but we arrived quite late and checked into our Airbnb, um, went to a supermarket and then just relaxed all evening. We are here for three days with our friends and we, yeah, as I say, we're staying in an Airbnb. Really impressed with this place. It's not comped or a press trip or anything. We just booked it ourselves. Um, but we're really impressed with this place. It's got a beautiful layout. It's got two bedrooms, one bedroom upstairs and kitchen, lounge, bathroom upstairs. Um, yeah, it's amazing. So we're just here for a few days to go walking in the peaks, catch up with our friends and just relax really. Um, so I just thought I would bring you along with me uh, so you can see what we get up to. Today we are going walking. We are hoping the rain holds off so that we can go and do a bit of a hike around Kinder Scout. Um, so yeah, I'll pop up the route that we're taking if anyone's interested and I will probably also pull together a blog post as well. So come along with me. Using this book as a guide for our walk today. So this is the route that we are taking today on the Pennine Way via Kinder Scout. It's about seven miles, takes about five hours. Um, yeah. So this is our route, um, so, but we're doing it in a slightly different order. We're starting in Upper Booth, there's a car park here, and we're going to make our way down Jacob's Ladder, down to Swine's Back, all the way up to past the Woolpacks, up to Kinder Scout, and then all the way around here to Edale, where we're going to stop for a pint, and then make our way back to the car park. I could say I was finally over you, but that's not so we have just started climbing Jacob's ladder. It's finally stopped raining for all of two seconds, and we've done like 100 meters of it, and I'm out of breath already. So, always a good start. <laughs> lunch because it stopped raining for all of three seconds um, and we've just made it to the lowest point of Jacob's Ladder like the trig point bit uh, and now we're heading up to Kinder Scout trig point which is up there somewhere Wish I could say I was finally Keep falling in love again. The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass. We just made it to the wall pack. It's basically just a load of rocks, <laughs> a load of boulders everywhere. finally made it down to Edale. Oh, such a long walk, um, especially downhill. It was a good two kilometers back down. And my knee is absolutely killing. Um, yeah, not great. I know that I'm obvious, fuck it, I made this way. But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? We are back home after a long hike today in the Peak District. We did the walk from Upper Booth Car Park and went all the way up to Jacob's Ladder, past Kinder Scout, past the Woolpacks, and then all the way back around via Edale and then back to the car park. It took around five hours, it was around six miles, 11 kilometers-ish, 
um, it was very wet uh, and very windy as well. Um, the sunshine did come out a few times, but it was mostly quite dull and rainy and windy. Good morning. So we have just checked out of our Airbnb and we've driven to south in the Peak District and we're going to a place called Thor's Cave. I'll tell you a little bit about the cave in a second. So it says here that Thor's Cave is a natural cavern and it's in the White Peak of Staffordshire. Uh, it's classed as a cast cave. I don't really know what that means, but um, it's a steep limestone crag. Um, and the opening inside is 10 metres by 8 metres. So we've just been to Thor's cave, uh, but Theo and Tom went inside, whereas me and Sophie didn't, because when we got to the bottom of the entrance, there was like 50 people and it was just a bit too busy. Um, there was like dogs and kids and everything inside. So me and Soph opted to enjoy the views from the outside. <laughs> there was still some really good views of the valley below anyway. So yeah, we have been. Uh, Theo captured some really nice shots from inside. But I think you've got to come early because there was just too many people. Um, so yeah. Next time maybe we'll come back at like 8am on a Sunday morning or even in the week maybe would be better from my recommendations anyway. district area we went into Bakewell and had some Bakewell puddings had a Sunday roast and then we went over to Chatsworth house for a couple of hours um, but it did rain a lot so we didn't hang around for too long but we have basically just left the peaks we said goodbye to our friends and we are now en route to Yorkshire so I hope you enjoyed this vlog uh, this is part one of a three-part series for our UK road trip adventure so I hope you enjoyed this vlog, hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and subscribe for more. Uh, the next vlog will be going live next week so stay tuned.